Hi everyone, I'm Julie Webb and welcome to another edition of UC Tech Chat. Today we're going to be talking about virtualization. I'm here today with Brian Ferguson and he's going to be telling us all about virtualization and what it means for small businesses. So you hear the term virtualization quite a bit in the tech world, but I really don't think that a lot of people understand what that means. So can you give, give us an overview of virtualization? Sure. So virtualization is basically the ability for a company to take all of the different servers that do different things in their IT infrastructure and to combine them or consolidate all that hardware into one. And they have virtualization platform software like VMware or Hyper-V that help manage that process. And it can save companies a ton of money, um, allows them to be much more scalable and give them disaster recovery options that they never had before. Perfect. Well, you t mentioned cost savings. Tell us how virtualization would help keep costs down. All right. So we're talking specifically about phone systems. Um, with a phone system today, if you were going to go out and buy it without virtualization, you would likely have to buy a piece of hardware that's from that vendor that is um, very restrictive from the number of users that it can take or the number of concurrent calls that it can take. And it's expensive. And virtualization limits or eliminates those two things. So you no longer have to pay for that hardware. You can just use the existing hardware that you're using to uh, manage all of the rest of your servers. And then you, you're not bound by those restrictions of that hardware as well. So um, eliminating those hardware costs can be very, very significant when it comes to phone system charge. Perfect. Now, what about scalability? Scalability is another good one. So um, we were talking about that hardware restriction. Um, again, are limited by the number of users and the number of concurrent calls. And so scalability with VMware allows the, it, the company itself to add resources to their VM infrastructure to support larger um, phone system deployments. So if your company grows quickly and you don't, you can no longer be supported by the piece of hardware that you used before, with VMware, you just add more resources instead of having to go out and buy another piece of hardware. So it's much uh, better scalability uh, capabilities both um, up and down. So if, even if you retract as a company, you can just take away resources and give them to something else if you don't need them for your phone system anymore. So it's much more flexible for your uh, IT department. One of the items you mentioned was disaster recovery. So how would disaster recovery dif be different on a system without virtualization? Right. So this is probably the biggest one for phone systems. So disaster recovery for uh, traditionally for phone systems is extremely expensive to do, especially if you need high availability or the ability to take either the same call if you have an issue or to at least take the next call. So you're talking about seconds worth of downtime. And doing that without virtualization is extremely expensive. You have to buy totally redundant hardware, the same, basically buying two phone systems to have them side by side, and only some of them can do it. But virtualization allows for um, to ha do it on your existing infrastructure that you're already using. You're already having redundant um, um, processes in place for your other pieces of equipment, you can do that same thing for your phone system. So usage is in, or uptime is very um, important. In fact, it can cost up to $7,900 a minute for downtime of a data center. And virtualization can almost completely eliminate that downtime uh, for your phone system. Super. That's really good information. So thanks for coming on to the show today and talking no about problem. virtualization. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time for another edition of UC Tech Chat.